Hey guys, this is Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today, I'm going to talk about a short story by Melissa Marr called Love Struck. He's just the cutest little different Melissa Marr-y kind of way fairy tale thing. I mean, if you read the Wicked Lovely series, you know she's not the typical at all. So for the non-spoilers section, it is about these things that we call selkie. And they're like these seal creatures, but when they remove their outer skin, they're like humans. And if a human touches their skin, then they're kind of like entrapped with each other. And it's like a love struck, love at first sight deal. We start off and Alana is our main character. We see most of the story through her eyes. And she sees this thing that looks like a leather jack on the beach. And she goes and picks it up so she touches it. That's a, that's the problem. Because then this guy, Mirren, that's his other skin because he's a selkie. And that means that she's bound to him now. Like she's trapped and she knows the stories of the selkie and it takes her a little bit to put the pieces together. But then she figures out that that's her mate now. And it's just this big freaking mess because she touched the damn skin. And so when we say love struck, it's kind of like that for him. Not so much for Alana, but for Muren it is. And then we grow to like him in such a short amount of time, but it seems realistic. But see, then we find out a little bit later that Muren's intentions were to go and court Alana. But... He wanted to really do it the human way for her and then let her have a choice in the matter at the end of it. So we think that Mirren's this great guy, which he kind of is compared to Vecchio at least. But Mirren is kind of creepy. She doesn't know him and he's a mythological creature and he calls her wife and he uses her name at the end of every sentence. I would be so weirded out by that. Like you don't even know. So then Alana, she's concerned that it's the magic of the whole situation that it's not really her choice and it's not real and th there's like the battle between them and then he's just like it is real and she's like I don't know I feel this way still but I don't know Vecchio I, I don't like him he's went and told Alana that there is some sort of spell that made her love him and that it isn't real and she already thought that before and then and it's annoying and so then Alana gives him his skin back and c releases him to the sea in a way. And after that's gone, she's she still misses him and she still loves him. And she's like, it's leftover magic. And I think then is when she realizes that she really did love him the whole time. So Mirren goes to the sea and they kind of make an agreement that they'll still be together. She'll go to college and she'll get a job and a career and he'll still be there and they'll still see each other in a way that he gets what he really needs and that's the ocean but he gets her because it was an accidental love story and it's freaking precious this little short story it's adorable i hope you guys enjoyed my little chat on a short story this is the first time but i've read plenty maybe i'll start going over more of them i don't know let me know what you guys think don't forget to like and subscribe drop some stuff in the comments i love hearing you guys' feedback let me know if you know of any other short stories that you think I might be interested in. I'll see you guys later next time. Bye! Like, that's creepy. It's like, what would you like in your tea, Hannah? What would... <laughs>